Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kuzzle tutorial. Today we're going to create a fully real-time chat web application using React and Kuzzle backend. First, we need to create our new React application. We can do this easily by using the Create React App tool. We'll call our project React Kuzzle Chat. Then, let's install Kuzzle's JavaScript SDK so we can connect to our backend. Also make sure you have a Kuzzle backend instance running on your local host and that's all the setup we need. Now let's use the SDK to create our causal connection. In a service folder, create a file and name it causal.js. Inside, import causal and WebSocket from the causal SDK. Use those to instantiate and export our causal connection. Let's head into our main React application file, remove everything inside so we can start from scratch. On top, let's import our Kossel service. Start with a base app class. In the constructor, let's define our state model. We'll need the user's name and input. An array so we can store all messages. And a boolean to know if we're connected to Kozzle. We'll change the UI depending on that. Let's create a function that we can use to connect to our backend. The Kozzle JavaScript SDK provides an asynchronous function to do so. Also, we can prepare a database to store our messages. If the index chat doesn't exist, let's create it so we can store a messages collection of documents. Now, right after we connect from the start, we want to fetch all existing messages and receive real time notifications about any new messages. We'll do so by later creating both of these functions. And finally, let's set the connector state to true. So, for the fetch messages function, we'll make a document search request, provided the index and a collection we want these from. Causal stores within each document an info object containing the creation timestamp and some other metadata. Let's tell Kossel to sort the results by descending timestamp. Then, grab the results and hold them into our application state. Receiving real-time notifications with Kossel is easy. Let's subscribe using the real-time controller. We want to receive any event happening inside the messages collection and we'll append the received messages into our message state array. Now that we have our connect, fetch and subscribe functions, we'll need to be able to send new messages. First, let's check that the current message is not empty. and sent a document create request into the messages collection with a body value which will be our actual message and the username so we can later identify each message. Finally, reset the state message value to an empty string. Now that we have our business logic done, we can start implementing our interface. First, we'll need a connection form. With an input, so we can get our username. Then, 
and a button connect with an on-click action that calls the connect function we previously defined. We also need a message form with an input so we can get a hold on our message and a send button that we'll call our send message function. Now we can use the React Control Components button to easily consume both of our inputs and update our state. Let's begin by creating a handle input change function that will take an input event, deconstruct the value and name from the event target, then set the state using the ES6 computer property name syntax to update the state key corresponding to the given input name. To get that working, we'll need to add a name and the onChange attribute on both of our inputs. Also, let's link our message input value to our state so it gets correctly reset after the message is sent. Now that we have all our business logic down, let's get going to our markup, starting by conditionally rendering our forms. Depending on the connecting state, if connected, render our message form, else render the connection form. Now, before we get into our web markup, we need to test if we can connect, make sure our forms work, and lastly, that our real-time subscription is working properly. Let's render each of the state stored messages by going through them and rendering for the time being only the message value. Our documents data is contained in a source object. If we launch the React script start, we can test that our forms work correctly. And that we can send and receive messages in real time. We can add a bit more of markup and CSS. For the sake of simplicity, we'll define a message component like here in the same file. It should take three props, a React key, a message source, and our current username. Now here on top, we can deconstruct the message in username props. Using the current username, we can visually identify our messages from others. We can also use the causal info object we discussed earlier to display a message date using the create at timestamp. Then, a paragraph for displaying the message value. I also add a conditional class to our own messages using some CSS I had prepared. And then we have it, a fully functional React real-time chat application. If you want to learn more about Cusel or have any questions, check out Cusel's documentation at docs.cusel.io or join our community on Discord. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.